We're going on a night trip to an island called Ubin. Today, we're going to explore Ubin with the co-founders of Herpetological Society of Singapore, the Law Brothers! Hello! Ah. <laughs> We're going to spot some cool animals and hopefully we'll find the elusive bandit. Great! I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's, go. Nice. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man! That's really a lot. Oh man! I think they are flying termites. Um, maybe it's a nest now nearby where it's flying around. Usually after rain, they will do that. But yeah, let's just get away. Wow, what's inside my mouth? Inside my mouth. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, so cute. One of the key things when you find nocturnal animals is the eye shine. Basically like growing pairs of eyes looking back, ah, that's when you know like there's an animal there. Or maybe not an animal, but let's hope it's an animal. But mm. <laughs> yeah, I can see it's moving. We saw a greater mouse deer. So even though the name is called mouse deer, it's not a mouse nor a deer. It's just like a separate group of mammals that looks like a small little deer. And it's super cute. Um, they are larger than the lesser mouse deers, which you can find on mainland. But here in Ubin, you cannot really find them. You will find the greater mouse deer instead. And the difference is, you know, due to the stripe markings. They were thought to be extinct, you know, in Singapore, like until 2008, where they found one here. Oh, I think they found something there also. That's actually how the Law Brothers communicate with one another. Oh, I heard a whistle back. Oh, that's so cool. There's an oriental dwarf kingfisher right behind me. And one of the smaller kingfisher species. It's super cute, super colourful. And it's sleeping. There's a ball of fruit up there. So that's because, you know, birds, they are mainly active in the day where their colour vision, right, is really good. That's when they can catch the insects, you know, the food, the fish. But at night is when they rest and they sleep. So chances are, if you find any birds at night other than owls, other birds will most likely be sleeping, you know, curled up in a fluffy position. It's a sleeping actually and another sleeping bird. Oh. Can you see? Yeah. This is a huge spider. It is a predatory spider, so means it actually goes out to ambush its prey and it has really good eyesight like most nocturnal spiders do. And yeah, they have eye shine, it's like glittering white. Hey, so why are these animals nocturnal? Well, animals kind of become nocturnal because of two reasons. Uh, first is to avoid predation, because in the day the predators can see them, so at night they can't. And second is for more resources, so they won't have to compete with other animals for the same food resource. Yeah. What do you find? Oh, 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 look, look, look. Oh, it's a silver cat. Oh, it's eating a fig on a fig tree. So they are nocturnal animals that often forage for food at night. Okay, bye-bye. On top of what I mentioned about nocturnal animals just now, most frogs such as the four-line tree frog here, they prefer the moist environment. So at night, there's more humidity, less sunlight, so less intensity, less evaporation. And that's important for frogs, which need a moist environment to survive because they breathe through their skin. Also, at night, that's where they call for their mates. So imagine the daytime, you make so much noise for your mate, then predators can hear you, right? But at night, it's safer, so it will benefit the frog much more. There's an orange oh, snake over there hiding, or rather sleeping on... Uh... This is an oriental whip snake. Very beautiful, a very slender noodle. Just coil it up and it looks as though it's awake, but actually it's not. It's sleeping because basically it's just not moving. And that's because snakes do not have eyelids. So even though they're sleeping, it may look as though they're awake. Yeah, they're one of the more commonly seen species, both here and on mainland. Oh, oh, this is so difficult. It's a juvenile oriental whip snakes, aka baby snakes. It's really pretty because it's like a yellowish golden colour. Yeah, so that's actually how they look when they are younger and as they grow older they will turn green. The Law Brothers they are staying a while there because we found a very cool mantis slide. So we're gonna go ahead first. We can do it. Bye Law Brothers, we're gonna leave you behind for one. Oh, the muffin is so cute, can you see? It's using it like it's proboscis to suck on the juices of the fruits in the past, right, moth evolved this nocturnal trait uh, because they used like the moonlight to navigate. Then when humans came and you know artificial lights became a thing, they they are just stuck there. La. So basically, 
they yeah. were super lost. Uh. Yeah, so sometimes when you like have a bright light source, right, they all come swarming towards you. Oh, that's actually a stick insect. I don't know what's that. It's a stick insect, doctor, no? I mean, from what I've read, yes. Uh, like the adults, they are mainly nocturnal. Although, I mean, like if you see them moving in the time, it's not that surprising, la, I guess, like when it wakes up. One of the more iconic nocturnal animals is the bats. So, they're usually flying around at night eating. And other than to avoid predation, right, the main reason why it actually evolved this nocturnal ability is to avoid competition with the insectivorous birds. Because bats fly, they need a lot of energy, much more than the birds. They actually cannot afford to compete with other people and have lesser food, so they just find food at night. And some of them have echolocation abilities. So yeah, to eat as much food as they can to support their flying ability. Mm. Scorpion. On your leg? No, no, no. no. Oh. <laughs> your one, the, the, the UV light? Yeah, you, yeah, you Yeah. Found a scor 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 scorpion. That's the wood scorpion. Um, pretty common. You can find it on mainland as well. It's one of the smaller species. And as you can see, it glows. So scorpions do glow under UV light. And that's because there's a layer in their exoskeleton which contains a pigment that glows under UV light. So you can refer to our previous video on glowing animals. Okay, wait. It's not the same scorpion, right? No. It's Asian forest scorpions. So they are much larger. Um, glossy black in colour, it's not like the woody ones. They probably don't camouflage, that's why they are usually hiding in their little burrows and it's very sensitive to light. So you shine a bit, they will just move back in. Yeah, a lot of ants. The worst enemies you have here are ants. Oh my god, they're crawling everywhere, right? As in like, we specifically, not, we specifically bought snacks for if you're hungry to eat. Eh. You yeah, legit want to know. Snacks. For you to no, no, no. They know you are always <laughs> Not specifically for her. No. For all of us, all of us. Yeah, yeah legit. Okay, I'll eat okay. one then. <laughs> I'm so touched. I'm friends with anyone who feeds me. <laughs> Just looking at the sleeping green crested lizard. And... And she's doing the yoga pose like again yeah. like that and there should be a cool reason for it. Right? Yeah. That, 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 the leg that's rice, right? That's... Right, this is like the one that's awake so they can kick anyone when it comes near. But yeah. Oh, what shot is this though? Looks like spiny tail. So they are taking photos of this beautiful spiny tail gecko. So geckos, they are usually nocturnal. They come at night because most of their prey come out at night as well. And they have good eye vision, which they keep it clean by licking its eyeball. Hammerhead flatworm! I literally almost stepped on it, oh my goodness, thank goodness. Crab! Do we no, no, it's not a crab, it's a flatworm. They're not the lame one here anymore. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I injured my leg yesterday. Yeah, I injured my leg, that's why I'm so lame. Oh. Get out! <laughs> How many more hours do you think you have to go? Yeah. Four more hours to go. Wow, eight hour trip, what? Yeah, no pain, no gain. So we saw a night judges now and we saw it took off. So there are actually nocturnal birds around. Sometimes it's just easier to catch prey in the dark when the prey comes out at night. So we're headed to find one of the most venomous species of snakes in Singapore, the banded crate. So our brothers have seen it here previously, so they're bringing us to try and search for it again. So we'll see it when we see it. Wait, wait, you should take this, you should take this. Go there, go there, go there. Go there. Yeah. Pit vipers are a group of snakes, right? They can actually use their pits, which is like a heat sensing kind of organ in their body, to look for infrared heat radiating out from their prey. They can't do it in the day, right? Because everything else is super hot. But at night, when the surrounding is, has cooled down, right? That's where, you know, the prey will be the only one heating up, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is a ground hornet or a beehive. Uh, I can't, so I can't it's a hive? Sure. Yeah, it's a hive of some sort. It's a hive. Yeah. We found a fallen hive. Mm. Yeah, other snakes here? Uh, yeah, in terms of uh, snakes in the Homolopsidae family, you do have your dog-faced water snake, and there's one record of the Canthus water snake. Although um, the diversity for them here is not as high as Pasiris, the crates themselves are actually snake eaters, so that could potentially reduce the population of other um, snakes around here. 
That makes sense. Yeah. This this is the mud lobster. This is the mound. Usually you don't see it. You don't even see it picking out lah. And then now you're we are looking at it like fully naked and moving in front of us. So this is a rare moment. Hi. The mud lobster seems to be crossing the road. Uh, I think it's trying to find a water source to lay her eggs. Perhaps it's spawning season. This creature is pretty elusive and not much is known about them, especially their reproductive behaviours. So this could potentially be new information. So our brothers we saw. Is it there? Is it there? Oh, 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 I saw it. The, the black one thing there, this is the banner crate. Oh my god, we found it, we found it. Oh. Oh, is the banana crate so pretty? I'm going to go home. We're tired. It was a fruitful day. A day of a day. We're on the boat back now, so that indicates the end of the journey. Thanks guys for bringing us around. A lot of us are really tired, but I hope you guys learned a little bit more about nocturnal animals. That's all for today. Just keep thinking.